In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CapCut video editor from A to Z. After this video, you'll be able to create your first video and you are going to love it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open the software. So we're opening CapCut and if you want to follow along, just open CapCut on your computer. When you open it, you can see all the previous projects that you have. You can create a new project or you can sign in. You don't have to have an account. I've been using it for about a month and I still don't have an account and it doesn't seem to make any difference. You need to be on the home page to do the settings. So we're going to do the settings here. You can choose here in the settings where you want your folders and your files to be copied. So you click on the little folder and you choose which path you want to save your work in. I am personally using an external drive. So once you have the drive that you're looking for, you just press open. You do the same thing with the material downloading app. You click on the little folder and you pick what you want. You can keep all the cache files in there or you can auto delete the cache files. And I highly recommend you use that because otherwise it's going to take a lot of space on your drive or on your computer. So you can delete it every 90 days, 60 days, 30 days or 15 days. And you see here, I currently have 389 megs of cache. So I could delete it, but I'm not going to because I'm working on some projects. Now we're going to go to edit the image duration. If I upload an image into my timeline, it's going to be the time that you leave here. So if you want your images to be very short, uh, you can turn it into one second uh, automatically here. It's five seconds and that's fine. You can also use frames. Free layer is turned on by default when a new project is created. You can change the frame rate to 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, up to 60 frames per second. And you can change the way your time code appears. Now you also have performance. So you want to encode the settings to speed up the hardware encoding or not. You can change those. And the proxy mode is turned on by default. This is how you create like smaller files. So it's easier to look at your project. It creates a lower quality image which makes it much faster to render and things like that. You cannot use a proxy location in an external drive. Like if I tried to go to another file and say open, it would not let me wrong path. External device is not supported. Select a local path. So for your proxy images, you have to stick to your computer files. And of course, you can change the language. We're going to do this in English. But if your primary language is French, for example, you can change the language here. And as you can see, this software is available in quite a lot of languages. And so when you're done, you press save. Now we're going to go into a new project. I can change the name here. The interface has a lot of sections. It has a section for media. It has a section for audio. It has a section for text. It has a section for stickers. It has a section and you can go down and see different stickers. It has a section for effects and you have the pro effects, which are the paid effects. But everything that doesn't say pro is completely free. So you can choose those free effects. You can do the same thing for transitions. And again, you have here distortion, slide, mask. You have a ton of things available for you. You have filters, portrait, mono. You see there are many, many things available and adjustment. So we're going to go to media and we're going to import. So let's say we're bringing this. This is a dollar. I'm going to drag it into my timeline. And so now you have this animation here. If I want to import a couple of other files, I can select multiple files and bring them into the project here. 
I can drag, I can resize the files here. I can drag this one and resize it here and use the third one and resize it here. You see when you put your cursor, it allows you to drag. Now there's nothing to drag on that side, but if I go this way, it drags that way. Now if I were to put this here and I drag this, it wouldn't leave a blank in between the two. It would actually drag the other files. That's the main layer of the timeline. So if you don't want it to do that, you turn off the main track magnet and now you have a space. And it shows you when you click here, this is P, this is auto snapping and the shortcut is N. Turn off linkage is the little squiggly sign and turn off preview axis. So where if I were to press P, it would magnetize the next line. You use the video player to review your edits. So when you come here, you use the player to see what you just did. It's right here. You can change the color oscilloscope here. You can preview the quality. So performance priority or quality priority and you can export a still frame if you wanted to let for example create an image like this you export a still frame and you can tell it where you want that image to go you say what format if you want it to be very high definition you go 4k and you can do ping or jpeg so we're not going to do that here you can change the aspect ratio of the image if you want to get really close and it has a little square here to let you see what you're looking at so the little bar here it snaps to the little bar which is a hundred percent you can change the ratio and so currently this is a 16 by 9 horizontal but you can turn it into a vertical video so you would just have to take this and resize it and now this is perfect for a story if you're doing a story for TikTok or YouTube story or an Instagram story this is what you would use and you have many other options here if you want to do a square one-on-one -on -one. and if you want to customize and pick your own information you can do this here you see there you can change the frame rate from your previous choice you can change your color space this is more for advanced people and you can change the resolution of the proxy here as well. So we're going to exit this. The timeline here is where editing happens. So this is where you drag all your work to import footage. You come here and you press import or you drag and drop your clip into the timeline so if i wanted to go to finder here and go to a file another file that i have you drag and you bring this here you double click the clip that you want to look at and you can see it in the player you can double click here and see what this video is like you can arrange the clips by dragging them into the timeline so let's remove everything i'm gonna drag this clip then i'm gonna drag this clip now if i don't want to drag the entire video here and i just want a piece i come to this and i create an in and out so the in i just want this when the wallet opens so i come here i either use those to move them and create the in but if I want I can just drag here and press I on my keyboard I'm gonna go here and the add out I press O and you can also drag this so now when I drag the video it only brings this portion okay and then I move it back where I see what I want to see 
When you left click on a clip, you can open the file location and it's just open in the back. So that's showing my video here. You can delete that particular clip. You can create a new folder. You go to all and then you have the folder here and you can drag things into the folder. Now you can come here and in this side you have all the information about your video. So you can scale it. You can move your clip directly with the mouse. You can move this by moving the little arrow on the top. You can actually type what you want here if you know exactly what you have in mind. You can rotate your video here by using the little drawing tool here, the little circle. You can also move it to the left, move it center, move it to the right, moving up, make it centered from the top and bottom and move it down. You can change the blend mode here, linear burn, hard light, you have all of them here. You can also, so let's put it on top of this layer, you can change the opacity. So now I can make it disappear. Let's use another one. If I do a hard light, you can see now that this is 100% and 0%. You can also change it from here. If you don't like it, you can just come here and redo. It brings back the image to where it used to be. You can stabilize the image here. If that image was shaky, for example, you just click stabilize and it moves things around. Now this image is not shaky, but otherwise you see it's doing the, it's applying the stabilization. It's actually pretty good in this, uh, software. If you want to use the image enhancement, you, yes, to, you have to use the pro version. Same thing with noise reduction and removing video flickers. So these are the things available under basic video. You have cutout, which is your chroma key and you can do customization and auto cutout. So let's try auto cutout here, applying an auto cutout. So it automatically cut out all the background. I'm gonna take this file here and I'm gonna make it bigger. And I'm gonna move the coin here so we can see it better. And now it has been cut out, okay? This was done automatically, auto cut out. Okay, so this is a great tool. You can use masks here, you can use the split, film strip, circle, rectangle. Of course, you can change all the details here that you want. You can move things around. You can do anything like you'll spend a little time and play with the details. You can create heart shapes, masks, stars. So you see there's quite a lot going on. You can change the position, the size, you can feather it. There's just so much in this software. So we're going to remove the mask for now. And you can also enhance the face. So it's not recognizing a face. So let's put another layer here. And we're going to put this man's face. So the even is pro, but you can smooth the face. So it recognizes the face. You can brighten the face white teeth. He doesn't have a smile, unfortunately. There's a lot of information here that you can't access unless you do the pro version, but you can also change the skin tone, facial beauty. You can choose to have different portions. You can change the brow peak, brow height. Imagine all these things available here. This is pretty intense. You can do it manually. Ooh, you can brush it, you can size it. Strength, you can put makeup. So let's see, 
Let's give him, here we go. He looks beautiful already. Eyelashes. So this is pro, but we can do the Western eyelashes. Eyeshadow. Lipstick. So we're gonna go a little bit more rouge on that one. So this is really a lot of enhancement that you can do directly on CapCut. And I'm just showing it to you, but you can imagine that you can do a lot of things with this. You can also do white shoulders, slim arms, legs slim. You can change the appearance of an individual through all this, through enhancement, okay? You can change the speed of your video. So right now it's at 1%. Now it's super fast. You see, that you can't even see it. So we're gonna make it. When you want to play the video on the timeline, you just press space bar. You just press the space bar and it plays your video. Here you go. You have all your shortcuts here. If you want to learn what the different things are, so you don't have to necessarily click on anything, you can come here and start using the shortcuts. You can also modify the shortcuts, reset them to default. You have different versions, shortcut one, two, three here. So these where your shortcuts are. I'm going to change the speed of the video. You can also change it by the duration of the video if you know exactly where you want it to go. You can create animation. You can use any of the non-pro animations and you see how it brings it into your video. Fade in, shake. All these things are available and you can just put your mouse on it to see what it does and then just click on it and it goes into your clip. And that's pretty amazing. Now let's go, let me move a couple of things from the timeline. If you go between this image and this image, you can use a transition here to go from one to the other. So we're gonna go to the transition here and you put your mouse on it and you just drag the transition. Now it says it doesn't have enough clips because this is the very end of the video of that one and the very end of that one. That means that normally you would cut and cut, but since I didn't cut, it's actually going to create the extra frames. That's perfect, it does it for you. So now it has a transition. You can make the transition longer just by dragging the sides with your mouse here. Since we're here, you can also go to effects and let's say I have this dollar, I want it to look different. I'm going to make it shine like this. Let's see what it does. You see, it creates this. And if you go into the effect here, you see that all the information is changeable. You can change the strength, the glow, the range, the speed. So let's change very drastically and we'll see the difference here. It's pretty mind blowing, all the information, all the things are available here. If you come from Premiere Pro, you realize there is nothing like that in Premiere Pro. Like everything has to be purchased outside of Premiere Pro and it's actually much, much more complex. This is like Canva. You have everything in your fingertip. It gives you a ton of opportunities to create a much more fun video. You have here all the stickers, like if you want to, drag an arrow you can move the arrow anywhere you want you can turn it change it here again it has the scale on that side 
You can change it by various ways, put it in the middle, on the left, on the right, on the top. Drag it where you want it. You can put an animation when it comes in. Here you go. So there is quite a lot of availability here. You can create filters. So let's go to another video. Let's go to this video. Let's see if I want the tunnel filter. I don't like it. So I'm going to try the BW3 filter. Okay. Now let's go to retro. Let's try that. Let's try that. In a click of a mouse, you can change the entire look of your image. And as you can see, you have as many free things available as there are pro. Night scene. Let's check this out. Okay, so these are filters that you can apply to your images in a quick click of a second. One thing we haven't looked at is text. So we're going to go to text here and there is default text. So I could put the text right here. There is text templates here. So let's say you wanted this. You just put it over here and it already has an animation. Same with this. Now you can change the text here. Here we go. Capital letters. I can change the scale. Again, I can change the position. Bring it up. Bring it down. Center. Let's add some text here in the timeline. Let's Oh, you can click here and change the text, make it money, make it bigger by dragging the corners. You can do that as well. If you can't catch something, like for example, I was like with the dollar sign, you, if you can't catch it directly, you double click it. But if you're having a problem, you can go to your timeline and just pick it right here. So that's a way to do it. So now I want to change the preset. I can change the text and make it look like what I see on the screen here. There's more. You can put a background automatically here. And of course, you can change everything here. All the details, stroke, background. You just, you know, can change the color of the background. Picking. I'm not going to be able to show you every single thing in this video because there's just so much. You can put a shadow, you can put a glow. I just want you to see all that there is, all that is available. I need to do something for you guys. I want to go back to media and bring a video where I actually speak. So I'm going to import a video where I speak. So let's go there. I'm going to drag this video here. And so you see here, there is the audio layer. So if I want to make it louder, less loud, I can just drag this. If I want to change the intro, if I want to fade the front, I bring this little circle here. And if it's red on top, you realize it's too loud. So you bring it down a little bit. So now this speaks. This video is for my nephew and for... So now I'm going to come here into the text section and I'm going to go on auto caption. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through the video. So you want it in what language, you know, it, you're telling it which language you're speaking in the video. If you already have a caption and you want to just modify it and make some changes, just let's clear the current subtitles. But at this moment we have nothing. So I'm going to press create and CapCut is listening to the sound of my voice and turning everything into captions. And that will not be removed in export. It is completely free 
and easy to use. So currently you see you can't really see anything. It's not really good. So what you do is you click on one. You can either apply to all. If you don't have this, it's only going to change one. So at the very beginning, when you bring it down, let's say you want a background. Here we go. Now you have a background. And you can change the opacity of the background. You can change the look of the background. You can do a lot of things here. You can create bubbles. You can create effects. So let's go back to the basics for effects. Let's remove the bubbles so you see the effects. Here we go. Here is an effect you can actually see easily in this size. You have a ton of different fonts available here. Now if you go to another one, they're all changed. Now if I just wanted to change this one, I can just remove the apply to all and change this one to white, let's say. And now they are not all the same. But let's say we go back here and I go back to apply to all and let's say I want them on the top here. They're all going to go on the top, including this one that since we put apply to all, it disregarded the previous change that was different and everything is going to the top. So that's an easy way to ch change everything. Now we're going to bring it back to bubbles because I like me my bubbles and we're going to bring it here. You see there are many, many different types of looks of bubbles. And that's really up to you to see the style that you like. Again, all free, all easy to use. Okay, so that's it for bubbles. Now they're all into this bubble type shape. So we're done with the text template. We're done with the effects. Add text, add captions. And local captions is if you want to import your captions. Now we're going to go into audio. You have all these free, copyright free songs that you can use. So you click on it to listen. I'm going to remove that actually. I'm going to bring this here. So if I want to remove the front, I go here. If I wanted to start slow, I change the little squirrel here. So that will take it real slow at the beginning. You can change the volume by going up and down. And if it becomes orange or red, it's really not a good place to be. So you come back down. Audio effects, deep. You can change the style here with an audio effect. You can change the speed. You can do noise reduction, but there shouldn't be any because we downloaded this. I'm going to remove the speed and the audio effects. So you can make a lot of modifications to the audio. It doesn't have to be just music, but everything is here. You also have sound effects, so you can you want bells. You click here. It gives you the time. See, this is two minutes and 50, so you know it's a song. So you have all this. 
run a copyright check. If you feel that you're using anything that has copyrights, you can just create the check and it will let you know if you're going to be able to upload this uh, song anywhere and if you'll have issues. And extracted videos. In your videos, you have your timeline, your B-roll. Everything is set that way. Once you're done with your video, you come to export here and it's telling you you're using the following pro feature materials. So I downloaded two pro things. So you either purchase the software when this happens or you just delete it and use another one. So let's try that again. There is another one here. So let's say you don't like that arrow. It's because you have to pay for it. You go to the stickers and you find another arrow and you remove that one and you use this one instead and you transform it the way you want and then when you export it gives you the ability to export this so you tell it the title of the video so it's a good thing that we change the title here because I'll keep it here you tell it where you want it to go you click on the folder and you choose the proper location of your video so in this case we're going to do this one Okay, video exporting, you use the resolution that you want. You can do all the way to 4K, because I filmed this in 4K. You can change the big rate to lower, higher, customized, or recommended. If you go to customize, it gives you the bit rate that you absolutely want. Otherwise, you use recommended. The codec, you have availability here the format MOV or MPEG-4 and your frame rate right here. If you want to have a separate audio file, you come here and export audio and uh, you can either do it in MPEG-3, WAV or AAC. AAC is the highest quality and that will create two separate uh, f files, one with the video and audio together and one audio file all by itself. So I'm not going to use it here. So now I'm going to export it. And so here you have it. Now the video has been exported so you can see you can automatically upload it to TikTok or YouTube. And I'm assuming if you sign in, you actually have it in your cache. You can create the title here, change the privacy of your accounts, create a comment, do it, stitch, whatever it is. Uh, you still have a lot of availability to export. You can run your copyright check here just to be 100% sure. You can open the folder to see your video. It is there. So that's it for me. I hope you will use CapCut because it's really phenomenal, phenomenal and absolutely free. And it's an incredible video editor. I hope you liked that video. I'll see you around. Have a beautiful day. Welcome to Katia's Buzz. I'll see you soon.